By now, most of us have logged quite a few hours into Fallout 4's base game. We've scoured nearly every inch of the wasteland in search of bottle caps and adhesive. God. We've accidentally stumbled across plenty of angry Deathclaws and behemoths, and we've walked for what feels like ages while overburdened just to get our spoils back to the nearest settlement. But for those who haven't gotten their fill yet, Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition is here, and it comes with all six of the DLCs. So here's the lowdown, plus some tips to help you get started. With the Wasteland Workshop, you can build cages that let you capture live creatures. We're talking anything from cats and dogs to Deathclaws. Once you catch them, you can tame them or have them face off in epic battles. The Wasteland Workshop also adds unique items to decorate with, like taxidermy trophies and neon letters. The Contraptions Workshop lets you use conveyor belts, scaffolding kits, and track kits to construct crazy building machines. It also adds stuff like elevators and warehouse kits. If you want to show off your loot, they've got displays and armor racks too. There's plenty of other fun stuff to mess around with, so let your contraptions do the work while you loot the wasteland. Just be sure to build plenty of generators because you'll need all the power you can get. The Vault Tech Workshop adds a huge selection of vault themed build assets, but this DLC is a lot more than that. When you hit level 20, tune in to Vault 88 Radio Station. If you want to make your life a little easier, bring a power suit plus plenty of Rad X. The Rad Resistant perk isn't a bad idea either. With Workshop tied to the title of this DLC, we didn't expect it to be so big. There's plenty to do and discover in the dark depths of Vault 88, and even more to break down and rebuild. By the way, if you've ever wondered what the Overseer's job was like, here's your chance. The Automatron DLC is available once you hit level 15. You'll detect a distress signal from a caravan needing help against some hostile robots. Find them, and you'll find Ada, who will inform you of a mysterious character called the Mechanist. This guy's trying to help the Wasteland with hordes of murderous robots, which means that you'll have new enemies to stumble upon. You'll also be able to harvest all sorts of goodies from the destroyed bots, which will let you build and mod bots of your own. You get to choose any combination of limbs, armor, abilities, and weapons, even their paint scheme and voice. Ada will become available as a customizable robo companion too, and depending on how you mod her, she might become one of your favorite companions in the game. Science is a super helpful perk to have for customizing your bots, and keep an eye out for some awesome new weapons. The Nuka World DLC starts at level 30 with a quest called All Aboard. But if you can't wait until then, you can head to the Nuka Transit Station on the far west part of the map. This will take you to Nuka World, which is basically an amusement park turned lawless city of raiders. There's an open wasteland and a handful of park zones to explore, along with new weapons, new baddies, and new loot. This DLC starts you off with a literal gauntlet, so make sure you bring plenty of meds and load up on chems. The lockpicking perk, specifically expert level, is a must have. After you make it through, you'll be put in charge of a gang of raiders. There are three different gangs living here, and as the new overboss, you'll get to figure out how to settle the growing tension between them. They're raiders though, so yeah, good luck. Far Harbor is arguably Fallout 4's most liked DLC, and for good reason. After you save our synth detective buddy Nick Valentine, you'll have the option to tune into Valentine's Detective Agency Radio, which will send you on a quest that leads to the mysterious island of Far Harbor. This island is pretty big, and higher radiation levels have created some pretty nasty new enemies, so it's recommended to be at least level 20. Again, you might want to bring some power armor and rad X. Don't forget about the rad resistant perk either. There are plenty of quests, settlements, and dungeons, which means you can expect plenty of new armor and weapons too. What's interesting about this DLC is that you'll be asked questions about your character that you probably haven't considered before, but we'll leave it at that. By the way, if you're looking for adhesive, it's seriously everywhere here, so stock up. The Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition features all six of the DLCs. You get the freedom to be as creative as you want, explore new areas, and take on some crazy new enemies, plus awesome new loot. So go forth, adventure, gather, and hoard. Good luck in the wasteland, survivors. May Preston Garvey never again ask for your help with another settlement, and may dog meat remain forever by your side.